Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x square root of x under square root of x is equal to 2. To find the value of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, to remove this square root here, we'll square in both sides. So, it will be x square root of x under square root of x into this side we square it is equal to 2 also into this side we square it then we'll take this power of 2 inside the bracket so it will be x square then into here this square root of x and a square root of x is square so here it will be square root of x and a square root of x then bracket square is equal to 2 square it is 4 then in the next step it will be x square then this square root will cancel with this square so it will be this so here it will be times x square root of x is equal to 4 then this x is same as x power of 1 so x power of 2 times x power of 1 it is x power of 2 plus 1 is power of 3 then times this square root of x is equal to 4 then in the next step to remove this square root here we'll square in both sides so it will be x power of 3 times power of 2 it will be x power of 3 times power of 2 is power of 6 then times this square root of x square so it will be square root of x bracket square is equal to 4 square it is 16 now into here this square root will cancel this square then it will be this which is x power of 6 then times this x which is same as x power of 1 is equal to this 16 now into here x power of 6 times x power of 1 it is x power of 6 plus power of 1 is power of 7 is equal to this 16 then to remove this power of 7 will apply 7th root in both sides so this 7th root will cancel this power of 7 then it will be x is equal to 7th root of 16 so this is the final answer for the value of x in this our problem now to check or to verify this answer if it is correct from our problem which is x square root of x under square root of x is equal to 2 so we substitute these values of x which is this 7th root of 16 so from this x which is 7th root of 16 then this square root of x x it is 7th root of 16 then under square root we write this square root of x x is this 7th root of 16 so here 7th root of 16 is it equal to this 2 then from here it will be 7th root of 16 then square root of this which is 7th root of 16 into here this 7th root this one 7th root of 16 is same as 16 7th root of 16 is same as 16 power of 1 over 7 so into here we write here 16 power of 1 over 7 then remember this was under this square root here now square root is same as power of a half is it equal to this 2 now into here it will be 7th root of 16 then square root of this 7th root of 16 it is 16 power of 1 over 7 then times 16 power of this times this is 1 over 7 times 2 is 14 then is it equal to this 2 then into here it will be 7th root of 16 then square root of this times this is same base of 16 
then into this power of 1 over 7 we, uh, power of 1 over 7 we add with power of 1 over 14 so to be the denom the lcm of 7 and 14 it is 14 then over this 14 divided by 7 is 2 so 2 times 1 is 2 so it will be 2 plus 14 divided by 14 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 then is it equal to this 2 then in the next step it will be this which is 7th root of 16 so here is 7th root of 16 then times into this square root this is same as power of half so write this exponent 16 power of 3 over 14 so here 16 power of 3 over 14 then bracket square root is power of a half so here to be power of a half is it equal to this which is 2 then into here to this square root 7th root of 16 is 16 power of 1 over 7 times 16 power of 3 times 1 is 3 over 14 times 2 is 28 is it equal to this 2 then it will be 16 then we add the powers so the lcm of 3 and 28 it is 28 28 divided by 7 is 4 4 times 1 is 4 plus 28 divided by 28 is 1 1 times 3 is 3 is it equal to this 2 then it will be 16 power of 28 4 plus 3 is 7 is it equal to this 2 now 16 is same as 2 power of 4 then bracket this power of 7 over 28 is it equal to this 2 then into here this and this it will be 7 so 2 7 divided by 7 is 1 so it will be 2 power of 1 which is 2 is equal to 2 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x which is 7th root of 16 or 16 power of 1 over 7 Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.